It is something unique, something that shakes you deeply as you start seeing unprecedented possibilities opening up. The first time, no matter the context, is a revelation. A first time is unique because it triggers a unique emotional response and emotions are impossible to plan for. Be it your first hike, your first via ferrata, or your first kiss, it does not make any difference. That emotion will strike you as lightning, leaving a mark that will forever be with you. The first step is a spark, not yet a fire, but the very thing that can start it. A raw call of the unexpected, ignited by nothing else than a single step. Outside what you know, two words what you will learn. We make that step because we want to know more, because we want to feel more. Because sometimes we need to radically change our routines and our habits. It is something you have to do. There is no other way to experience it. The last year brought many people for their first time to an outdoor and mountain experience. We wanted to listen to people making their first step in the mountains. We wanted to understand who they are, what drives them and what challenges them. And we were curious if we would be able to provide these people with the right tools, exactly what they need to make the second step the one sealing the unspoken pact between humans and mountains. Therefore, we commissioned a special survey to unveil the secrets. The brands in the Oberalp House deliver more than products to people. Our vision is incorporated in what we craft because it's us crafting these things. Because in what we craft, we blend knowledge and passion. And our passion is the result of many, many first steps, transformed by time and experience from spark into enduring fires. This passion pushes us to better understand people and what resonates with them, because it's important for our business and it's important for them. The Oberalp Group is built on two fundamental convictions. The first one, we believe deeply outsports are the most meaningful way to create your leisure time. And the second one, we inspire people through mountains for mountains. I remember very well my first approaches with the mountains which my parents enabled me to make. Step by step, I became aware in the mountains you learn how life can be shaped. But it's only one way to transform spark into the enduring fire of a life-changing passion. Repeating that experience and understanding how it resonates with something inside us. This is our reason for existing to enable people to experience what the mountain environment can and will do for them. From the first step all the way to the top. It's our role and our opportunity. There will be obstacles between the first step and the ones that will follow. We can provide solutions to overcome them. Finally, we can provide them with ideas, perspectives, values, stories conceptual instruments to reshape not only how they go to the mountains, but also why. This is how you take a spark and start a fire of a life-changing passion. 
And this is how we do it, from the first step. We do not conquer mountains. It's actually the other way around. Mountains conquer us. When, for the first time, we confront ourselves with something so majestic, so set apart from us and from the places in which we live our lives, we must confront with that sternness. That is how we are conquered by the mountains. It is from the highest point that we can see what lies deep inside. My first memory of the mountains is with my parents, enjoying family time, skiing, trekking, and sometimes climbing. It was simply part of my childhood and what we did as a family. As a teenager, the mountains became a space where I gained my freedom. With friends, I discovered ski mountaineering, snowboarding off piste and climbing. Somehow, the mountains were there where I grew up, and I grew with them. Today, the mountains are a space where I disconnect from everyday's rush, and I reconnect to my inner self, be it alone or be it with my dear ones. They are a space where I find focus, freeing my mind and truly enjoy the moment. The mountains didn't change. It was me that changed, thanks to them. Lamun speaks to very specific kind of women, the confident ones, women who find a space in the mountains, women who want to be considered simply as the people they are, willing to face the mountains with their own strengths and determination as they do in their daily life, but also with the desire to express their femininity and personality in their own way. Lamund exists for this new generation of women. We want to make these women more visible and give them more space. We want to give them an answer to their needs. Our products are built around two key concepts, functionality and aesthetics. We aim to support women's strengths and activeness while allowing them to express their femininity at the same time. This is what drives our design. This is what pushes us further, striving for the best. This is why Lamont exists. This is our first approach to the market. Reinhold Messner once said, each mountain in the Dolomites is a piece of art. It is a perspective of someone who spent a consistent part of his life on their pale rocks, an old friend of these summits. But what do you see when you see the Dolomites for the first time? How do you understand them? In which compartment of your representation of the world do you store them? Are they just stones, weirdly stuck in the green of the meadows, or in the grey of this crease? Or are they something more? Maybe the inspiration for deeds to come? The point is, there is only one way to unveil that perspective. Go to these mountains with a newcomer. Share their beauty and admire them through their eyes. I started skiing and ski touring as a kid, around the age of 11. The mountains became a new soul-touching arena where I discovered my potential, but also my limits. What I loved most was losing myself in the exhaustion, pushing for summits. But at the same time, I found myself in the rough nature, the skyline, the silence, and the friendship around me. I fell in love with mountains and mountain sports. I could not imagine a life without mountains anymore. And that was when I realized that skiing was going to be part of my life forever. The biggest challenge was to speed up 
and train my instinct. Participating in competitions was the very best way to learn fast, at least for me. It's safe, but still wild. You have to prepare yourself and make many mistakes in the beginning. But you correct these mistakes from race to race. And then you get better from race to race. This creates excitement and a strong internal motivation. Self-motivation becomes crucial, and the way to build it is to fully commit to what you love. What I enjoyed the most was to share these feelings with my racing partners and friends. Not only did we learn to share fears and doubts, but also to double the fun and excitement together. Everybody can enjoy a good day in the mountains, be it skiing, hiking or running. But some people, even during their very first days, will ask themselves, can I improve? Can I beat myself? How do I experience more in less time? How can I have all of this every day and not only in the weekends, even late after work or early in the morning? That's the performance gene speaking. If you have this gene, Unifit is here for you. Unifit delivers the most efficient systems for mountain endurance athletes. Love for mountains ran in my veins thanks to my family. My dad brought me with him on the first easy hikes, which then became longer and steeper. A Via Ferrata was just the logical next step, followed by rock climbing and by glaciers. I think that is how it works. You find your initial angle because an idea pops into your mind or because someone sparks curiosity into you and then you explore it. It is natural. Mountains are a constant call for seeing what's behind the next turn, the next hill, or the next summit. Every radical change is a huge drive. It is a non-linear development process, but it has some inherent beauty. Every time you learn that you are still able and willing to learn and to progress. That is what I like about learning new things in the mountains. That and the energy you find in connecting with like-minded people. We go to the mountains to find a natural contact with the world, to fulfill ourselves and to connect with others. This is the essence of engineer in the Dolomites. That applies also to ourselves as people. We are engineers in the Dolomites and in the mountains from all over the world. This is the vision of the world we put in our work. The raw energy of first approaches, informed by the knowledge of our heritage and tradition. That is how we stay true to the values Saleva stands for. It is thanks to my parents that I climbed my first mountain peaks and I did my first tours on skis. In my perspective, those were just, you know, normal activities. I didn't realize at the time that was the beginning of a life-defining passion. The love for mountains evolved as my perspective changed. Climbing became a way to build social relations, to express myself, and to discover the beauty of the world in the meantime. The whole thing was a bit intimidating for a newcomer. You went to a crack, someone better than you put up a rope on some route, tied it into your harness and sent you up. The same way when you went to buy gear, you found yourself in front of an intimidating wall with hundreds of carabiners, quick draws, and other mysterious metallic objects. What is right for me? What do I really need to progress in safety? How do I prioritize my purchases? Things changed for the better in the last few years. Climbing has become more open and accessible, a safer context in which you can grow better. 
That is how we imagine newcomers on the first time. A safe space for exploration and for expressing freedom. Wild Country is a brand from climbers for climbers. We work at our best for the new climbers and the new enthusiasts. I started climbing in the late 70s. It was another world. No social media, no training, no climbing halls. Climbing pretty much boiled down to one thing, picking a line and going up. I went to college in Boulder, Colorado. As a freshman one night, I ended up at a party full of climbers. I found a book on a coffee table, Climb. I started flipping through it, and a couple days later, I was in El Dorado Canyon, absolutely determined to climb something and with no clue how to do it. That was the beginning of a lifelong adventure. Climbing is a unique form of expression, measurable and movement-based. It combines technical skills and creativity to generate a personal performance. That is why it has become so popular. For many people, the first contact with climbing happens in climbing halls, places in which you can try and learn, share your experience, and grow together with others. Build connections and friendships around this multi-layered activity. Still, climbing on rock for the first time tends to generate some anticipation and a little anxiety. This feeling changes quickly as crags and boulders became a more familiar choice. Nevertheless, the place where the first contact happens doesn't matter so much. Climbing is just climbing. It doesn't matter where you start. Your first climbs will always be something you remember for life. Most guys don't bother to learn more than the simplest facts of flight. How to get from shore to food and back again. For most guys, it's not flying that matters, but eating. For this girl, though, it was not eating that mattered, but flight. More than anything else, Jonathan Livingston Seagull loved to fly. Climbers are not that different from good old Jonathan Livingston. Because climbing is a gesture that does not depend on external motivations. You don't climb to get somewhere. You climb to climb. You climb to enjoy the moment, the movement, the feeling of freedom. It is a simple truth. You realize the very first day you visit a crack a truth that will stick. The Oberalp Convention has evolved over the last years, becoming a reference for our industry. Every season we present the most important news from our brands, and we aim to find answers to actual questions, sharing them with our closest partners. While many industries declined in 2020, the outdoor business confirmed to be rather resilient. But how is it possible that we continue to grow in such difficult times? The mountain sports market keeps growing thanks to our loyal customers. People who have been experiencing mountain sports and mountain culture for generations. But also thanks to a new group. People who since last summer have started to see mountains as an attractive alternative to spend their free time for the first time. This is an additional opportunity. But do we really know these new customers as well as we know our consolidated communities? Is this a short-term phenomenon? Or is it a sustainable long-term additional target group? For the Summer 22 Convention, we commissioned a study with the Kamersen Institute 
on those who spent their holidays in the mountains for the first time in 2020. And we are happy to share the most interesting findings with you. Why didn't this group consider mountains as a holiday destination before? Mountains were considered as dangerous, conservative, tiring. In several cases, the idea of spending time in the mountains was clouded by personal childhood memories. Nevertheless, due to travel restrictions and to the desire for new experiences in places where social distancing is easy to achieve and to respect, a mountain holiday suddenly became a good option. The majority of these newcomers approached mountains by hiking at altitude, using gondolas to go up when possible. Enjoying the landscape, the environment, and tasting the typical mountain cuisine contributed to creating a new picture of mountains and their culture. Simplicity is considered the new luxury. A consistent percentage stated that they would consider mountain holidays also in the future. Many would organize them more than once a year, but for shorter periods. But what about these people's expectations? Many need more precise information to plan their mountain holidays. What kind of experiences are possible? Is there a specific offer for my kids? How many gondolas are open? Quite a few declared that they need better support to choose the right equipment. For their first mountain experience, the majority focused on footwear. But a consistent group is convinced that with better equipment, they would have enjoyed the experience more. Advice on choosing the right products in the home region and in the mountain holiday destination is highly considered. We need to continue evolving our work with the ambition to attract future generations of customers. We must do this by respecting our heritage in line with the spirit of our core community. Mountains need to remain magical places of adventure. Our job is to build bridges, connecting the core community with customers that share the same interest in mountain style and culture, but approach them as beginners. There is big potential for both brands and premium retailers who will connect to this new target. Therefore, in order to exploit it, we shall wonder. How well do we know these new customer segments approaching our stores? How much Alpine competence and flair do our stores transmit? How well prepared are we to serve the different customer segments with relevant solutions? If you are willing to know more, find insight and inspiration on new mountain customers in our brand new report. Explore the website to discover more about the latest overall virtual convention.